Hey guys, welcome to today's video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to restore your PC. If it uh, has a critical error, it won't boot up, anything like that. If it doesn't get past the BIOS, this is how you do it. Okay, so the first thing we're going to need is a flash drive. You're going to need an 8 gigabyte or more flash drive. Um, I'm personally just using a like a flash memory card for a camera uh, connected to an SD card reader. So it's an SD card with an SD card reader. Um, you can pretty much use anything. You can use a CD, you can use or a DVD. Um, as long as it's big enough, as long as it's bigger than 8 gigabytes or 8 gigabytes or more, you can use it. So first thing we're going to go to is we're going to well first we're going to plug in the USB drive and then we're going to go to this web page. It'll be in the link below. Check out the link. Um, this is the tool that Windows has to reinstall Windows from a flash drive. So guys, this creates a Windows installation disk. Um, whether you use a flash drive or not, this is the tool you're going to use. So first you're going to download it. It's pretty quick. And then just run it. Say yes to Windows asking you if, uh, if you want to run it or not. So it's going to get a few things ready. It's basically just uh, finding your device, downloading the, uh, the Windows 10 package and everything. So guys, this video is going to be a couple parts. Uh, guys, there's going to be some that I filmed on my camera, and there's going to be some that I filmed from my webcam. So um, let's get started. Just go ahead and say accept. Now, if you're using if you're using this to fix another PC, then you're going to select up here on the next page. You're going to select that you're going to be fixing another PC. The other thing you're going to need to know is if that is a 32-bit Windows PC or a 64-bit. And the way that you find that out is you go to your File Explorer. You go to your File Explorer. You go to this PC. Guys, after you get to this PC, you right-click it and go to Properties. And this page will pop up. So it's going to say right here, 64-bit operating system, x 64 base processor. It's either going to be a 32-bit processing or a processor or it's going to be a 64 bit so you're going to need to know that for the next question that asks us so again you go to your file explorer you right click on this pc go to properties it's right here so here we go we're going to create the installation media for another pc so i'm actually fixing um someone i work with's pc so we're going to create it on this flash drive for another pc so we're going to click next um, this is where you decide what architecture. So if it's a 32-bit PC that you're going to be fixing, you're going to be putting 32-bit. If you're not sure, just go, go ahead and click both. That way, um, when you go to actually fix it, you will be able to choose one or the other. And when it gives you an error, you'll know that you have to use the other one. So we can install all kinds of different versions of Windows 10, different languages. For this one, we're going to do 64-bit. Go ahead and click Next. So if you do, if you're doing a DVD, you're gonna click ISO file, ISO file. If you're gonna be doing a flash drive, you need to click flash drive, and then click next, and then it's gonna give you a list of all the different places that you can save to it. So before we click next again, just know this will wipe everything on your flash drive. If you have important files on your flash drive, take them off now. Uh, if you have anything on your disk, make sure your disk is clean and empty. Everything needs to be wiped out. Um, it's gonna wipe everything out. So take off your files. <clears throat> so now it's just going to progress through. It's going to download Windows 10 from scratch and then it's going to um, install it onto the flash drive as a um, something you can boot from. So we're just going to fast forward through this part. So guys, <clears throat> so now it's downloaded Windows. Um, now it is installing it onto the flash drive. So we're going to keep fast forwarding. <clears throat> hey guys, thanks for sitting through that. Um, I'll probably cut it down a little, even shorter. Um, so it says your USB flash drive is ready. We're just going to click finish. And then it cleans up, it deletes the, uh, the files off your computer so it's not taking up space. And then we're going to get on to the next part of the video, guys. Uh, the audio is going to change because I'm using a different camera. 
Um, a little bit of it's gonna change, but I'm gonna I'm gonna get right into the next part. All right, thank you guys. The next part is gonna be us setting up uh, what on your computer, like what uh, drive it's gonna boot from. So normally your drive is gonna automatically boot from your hard drive, but we're gonna be setting it up to boot from the flash drive that you just created or the disk that you just created. So go ahead and put in the flash drive or into the new computer or put in the disk into the new computer and then um, get ready to press the, uh, the button that your computer is gonna give you. As soon as you boot up your computer, it's gonna have a little thing on the bottom right usually that tells you what button to get into the boot menu. You're gonna get into the BIOS or the boot menu. Either one will work, uh, just follow me there. Alright guys, we're going to reinstall Windows on this PC. So when it boots up, my button to get to the BIOS is F2. Yours might be different. So basically, you're going to let it try to boot up one time. You're going to read the bottom right over where it says what all the buttons are. And then you're going to try and just spam the button on the next boot up to try and get to the BIOS. So first thing we're going to do is set our boot option. Well, we're going to go to boot. Your BIOS is probably going to be different. There's a very good chance it's going to be different. Basically, find boot. And then find your boot option priorities or your boot, um, whatever you like, whatever thing says, like which things boot first. So we're going to set um, my USB device is called iClever. That's actually what we're going to boot from because that is where our Windows uh, is stored right now. So we're going to save changes and exit. It's going to reboot the PC, but it's going to try and find Windows on that device that you chose. So for me, it's finding Windows on the, uh, the flash drive. The flash drive contains the Windows uh, boot up drive that we have right now, the bootable version of Windows that will let us install Windows on the PC. So this takes a couple a couple minutes here. Um, I'm going to fast forward and then I'll get you back when we get to the actual page. Alright guys, so here we are. That was actually didn't take that long. We're going to go English, English, US, install now. Setup is starting. Now this is going to take a long time. So Windows setup takes forever. We're going to, um, we don't have product key right now. We'll install it later. We're going to put on Windows 10 Home. Once we get past the initial setup, it's going to take a while. So it gives us which type of installation do you want, upgrade or custom. Um, we already wiped this PC, so we're just going to do custom. We're going to install it all by itself. Um, we're going to go ahead and install it on the first drive um, that's going to be the SSD, which is drive zero. Um, we're going to wipe everything else. So to wipe everything, um, we're just going to go ahead and hit, uh, well, actually, so I've already wiped it. Um, we're just going to go ahead and install it right here. Drive zero, partition four. So this is, if you look at the free space, you can tell which drive is which. So this is our hard disk drive that he has in this PC our SSD, and then these are partitions off of the SSD the computer needs. So we're going to go ahead and install it on the large um, main partition. Say OK, and this is the part that takes a long time, so fast forward happening now. All right, guys. So we're to the uh, the first restart of a couple that's gonna do. You can just let it do its own thing until it gets completely restarted and ready for you to do your next bit. Just let it boot up. All right. So here we go. So it says choose an operating system. Um, it's Windows 10 or Windows 10. I'm just going to choose Windows 10. I just clicked the bottom one, but if you get that option, you may or may not get that option, but if you do, um, just you can click either one. I guess that's if your uh, flash drive has more than one operating system on it that you can install. So this is going to take a little while. We're going to fast forward through this.
All right, it's restarting for the second time. Now it's coming up on the uh, the options that it's going to give you for installation. All right, here we go. So let's start with region. Is this right? United States, that is correct. U.S. keyboard layout. I do not want to add a second layout. Now, guys, I like to set up my PCs uh, super bare bones. I don't like it to have all the stuff that Windows wants to give it. So you'll notice that I click off of a lot of options up here um, on the next thing. But you guys can enable them if you want them to. I'll go through a brief like uh, explanation of each one. So sign in. We're actually going to offline account this. No. I don't want to sign in with Microsoft. Who's going to use this PC? Make a password. Security question. Now this is not my PC, so I'm just setting all these super um, easy to remember. But he's gonna set them up later when he gets his PC back. Do more across more uh, devices. So. This lets you like continue what you're doing on your phone and other stuff like that. I'm going to say no to that. I'm going to decline the digital assistant. All right, so here is where it gives you all these options. And this might get overwhelming at first. You might just click accept, but I'm not going to do that. Online speech recognition. I don't need that. Find my device. I don't need that. It's a computer. It's not going to be going anywhere. If you have a laptop, you might want to keep that on. Ink and typing. Uh, do not want to do that. Advertising ID. No. Uh, tailored experience, no. Diagnostic data, no. Location, no. It's a PC. I'm just going to continue. So, setting it up for the first time, guys. Alright, so it's searching for a display driver. We have uh, Microsoft Edge already popped up. Computer need to be restarted to finish setting up this device. Good for it. So, uh, I have Razer products plugged in, so it's going to want me to install Razer right away. I'm not going to do that. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is actually restart it. Um, because it has some issues, or some things it needs to restall that it needs to restart it for. So I'm going to restart it. It's going to automatically search for drivers as soon as you boot it up. Um, if you have it connected to the internet, which I recommend you have it connected when you, when you start it up. Okay, so we're in. We're going to type in the password. Awesome. So our PC is working. Um, the last thing I'm going to want to do is go back into the boot menu and change the uh, boot setup. So let me do that real quick. I'm going to go ahead and restart it again. Now hopefully you'll see your options super fast and you'll be able to click it fast. But I have to get into the BIOS. So I have my finger hovering over F2. Awesome. So we're into the BIOS. We can go to boot. Boot option number one is going to be this guy. Boot option number two. And then everything else, we can just go ahead and disable these. So it's not going to try and... Hello? Uh, disable them so it's not going to try and uh, mess us up again and get us into the thing. So um, I'm going to make sure that any settings I changed are back to normal. Uh, I didn't change any of these. Didn't change any of those. Didn't change any of those. Didn't change any of these. So I did change boot settings. Fast boot. I'm just going to go ahead and leave that alone. It already boots really, really fast. Boot from onboard land. Um, nope. Pop timeout. Boot. Boot beep. So I turn on boot beep so I'd be able to hear it. Disable that. Uh, change boot failure guard back to three. And save changes and exit. Yes. 
So guys, this is how you get a computer back completely. Uh, this computer came back from the grave. The owner had given up on it, but it's back now. Um, it wasn't booting up at all. It would just give us that error. Um, but yeah, it's good to go now. It has a completely fresh copy of Windows on it. Um, the only thing that he's going to have to do is purchase Windows 10 and plug in the uh, product key for it. So it's completely up. Good to go. And uh, please like and subscribe if this video helps you. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you guys have a great day.